What's up everyone? Welcome back to Everyday Unboxing where we unbox and review the latest and greatest gadgets, technology, and really just anything that we can get our hands on that we find interesting. I'm Chris and today we've got something truly special for this video, especially if you suffer from seasonal allergies. What we've got with us today is Dayette's new HEPA air purifier that they sent me to test out and let you know what I think about it. Now seasonal allergies are no joke, and like most people here in Texas, I suffer from seasonal allergies. Now over the past couple of years with the environment and everything that's been going on, air filters and purifiers have really just taken off. I myself suffer from seasonal allergies and they are no joke. It's summer right now, so my allergies really aren't that bad. But with fall and winter coming up pretty soon, that's when my allergies are going to start to kick up and just go crazy. On top of that, I'm also allergic to a lot of pollen, dust, and just different types of pet dander, which on occasion just messes with my sinuses. Now this air purifier couldn't have come at a better time, so stay tuned and we'll check this thing out. Now, if you're like me, you've probably got a ton of air filters or air purifiers laying all around the house. And if you're like me, I'm always on the lookout for air purifiers or air filters that are quieter, more powerful, and more efficient at removing micro particles and allergens out of the air to improve the overall air quality in my house. Now, before we dive in and check this device out, let's take a look at some of the key features outlined on the box itself. So again, this is the Diet air purifier. And now Diet is a pretty well-known brand. I myself don't have any diet appliances and this will be my first diet appliance. But according to the box, it should capture up to 99.97% of particles down to 0.1 microns. It's got a H13 true HEPA filter, which means that it should pretty much trap any kind of airborne particle or material to help clean the air. It's got four stages of filtration. It's also got four fan speeds. It's got different modes of operation, such as an auto mode, as well as a 2.5 digital display just to let you know what's going on, and also gives you a good idea of what your air quality is around the unit itself. Uh, so it's got that air quality indicator built in there. So it looks like the auto mode itself will adjust the purifier's fan speed based on the surrounding air quality around the unit itself. Uh, so pretty much a hands-off kind of operations if you want to. It's got uh, smart air quality sensors uh, which display real-time how good the air quality is around the unit itself. It's also got a bunch of indicators, one of which will tell you when to replace the filter. It's also got a lot of child lock features built in to just help prevent your children or pets from you know, mishandling this device. And then finally, it's also got a timer that allows you to set it between one to 12 hours, you know, just based on your schedule and your convenience of how you need to use this air purifier. Now, it looks like on the back, it's got a diagram of the four stage filtration, as well as all the different filters that are built into it. And again, it does capture up to 99.97% uh, of particles down to 0.1 microns. And those include things like lint, pollen, dust, mold, lead dust, pet dander, tobacco smoke, dust mites, and pretty much anything that's floating around in your air that can irritate your sinuses or just uh, lead to allergies. Uh, so aside from the four stage filtration, you've also got a quiet sleep mode, which I guess is the lowest level of operation, which is silent at about 22 decibels. So that's something that we might be able to test. In addition to that, it's got four fan speeds, so between low, medium, high, and turbo, and again, can be automatically controlled um, on the unit itself and automatically adjusted based on the air quality around the unit itself. So let's go ahead and get into this and unbox it to see what we get. Okay, so looks like it comes fully assembled, I think, but we'll see. Okay, so right off the bat, it is very lightweight. It's not too heavy at all. And it looks like the filter is right on the bottom itself. Okay, so this looks like the power brick. 
Uh, looks like you get a remote as well as the instruction manual and some other documentation. Now the remote itself is one of those little plastic, but again, you know, it's there's not much components in there. So, you know, I, I don't blame it being a little cheap and light feeling. The user manual with a bunch of different information on how to set it up and use the device. This is probably installation guide for the filter itself and just a thank you letter and then the warranty card itself. Put that in here for now. Okay, and the filter itself is in a sealed plastic bag, which is a given because again, it is an air filter. Now the unit itself is made up of a plastic material. So it is completely plastic, including the filter itself, aside from the different materials in the filter. So there is a metal grate area. So yeah, m mostly made of plastic and the filtrate standard filtration material. So it looks like the way this is installed is you just need to stick the filter in the unit itself. And before I actually do that, if you look inside the unit itself, there isn't much to the internals of the unit. It's really just a giant fan on the inside with a couple of cables and everything. Uh, I think there's probably also a control board behind the LED, LCD itself, but not much else to this unit at all. And then the air filter itself installs from the bottom. And I think you just line up the holes and then twist. I think you just twist to lock in. Yeah, so you just twist and it locks into place. So fairly simple design, fairly easy. Now, if you look at the unit itself, it does have a modern design with a touch control panel on the front, which is really just these capacitive buttons that are built into the plastic. Um, but it, because it is pretty compact, it really just won't take up that much space in any room that you place this thing in. Now, from an assembly point of view, you can see that it's pretty much assembled and all you have to do is install the air filter. So no trouble with installing and setting this thing up. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug this in and power it on to see what it sounds like, what it looks like, how it works on the initial power on. Okay, so you just need to plug this power adapter into the back and then we'll plug it into an outlet. And then we'll power it on. I guess when you power it on, it goes through its cycle and just powers on the fan itself. And there's a pretty good amount of airflow that comes out of this. So if I were to put this on top of it, you can see that it does blow this thing up a little bit. So it's got a pretty good amount of airflow. And I think this is at its lowest speed. So this is speed one, speed two, speed three, speed four. So it does have a good amount of air pressure and speed and force that it pushes out. And at its highest speed, it isn't too loud. So that's pretty nice in itself. And if you put it at its lowest, let's let it slow down a little bit. You can actually hardly hear it at all. So that, and again, in itself is pretty nice. So that's if you manually adjust the fan speeds. But there, if you press it all the way to auto, that's where it'll automatically adjust based on the air quality around the unit itself. Okay, so first things first, let's go ahead and test out how loud this thing is and how loud this thing can get to see what the decibel levels are that it outputs. So I'm gonna be quiet for a second so we can capture how loud it is in the room itself. So right now, without any kind of noise, it's about 39 decibels. Let's go ahead and turn on the unit itself and see how loud it is for the first stage of the fan, four stage fans. So it's about 44 decibels on the first stage of the four stage fan about 50 decibels for the second stage, about 57 for the third stage, and then the turbo mode is about 61 decibels. So 
So looking at the reference chart, 60 decibels, around 60 decibels is the amount of noise for a quiet street. So just under the level of a normal conversation. So pretty normal and acceptable level of noise level. And if, I'm, if you're placing this somewhere across the room, you probably won't even notice it that much. Okay, so again, there is the indicator on the unit itself. So right now it's blue. So let's see what blue stands for. So it looks like blue means the air quality in this room is very good. Green means good, yellow is moderate, red is polluted. So I guess based on this uh, smart air quality sensor that's built into the system, the air quality in my studio is very good, which I guess is good. Plus, you know, I do have an air filter in here already. So that just lets me know and validates that, you know, that air filter is doing its job or air purifier is doing its job. Okay, so this lock button at the end is the child lock. The timer button is the, well, is the timer button. So this allows you to set, uh, set the timer to tell it when to turn on or off or the, how long you want it to be operating in operation before it shuts down. Okay, so the, this HEPA button right here is the indicator for when you need to replace the filter itself. So when it's time to replace the filter, it will light up just to let you know, hey, it's time to replace the filter. So that one's not necessarily a button, but an indicator itself. Okay, so it's also got this sleep mode, which when you press it, again, drops it down to the lowest speed operation for the air purifier itself, which now that I look at it, I realize there's four different fan speeds. So there's the low, medium, high turbo, and then the sleep mode is a sub mode to those four levels of fan speed. So it's even quieter than the first level fan speed. So it still looks, feels like it's circulating air, but it's super quiet and you can, can't even hear it at all. Okay, so when you turn it off, it goes back to level one. But again, we'll set this to auto. So it will automatically adjust based on the quality of the air around the unit itself. Okay, so while this thing's doing its thing, let's talk about the features of this Diet HEPA air purifier. First and foremost, it's equipped with a HEPA filter that claims to capture 99.97% of airborne particles. Now, I won't be able to test that in this video, but we're gonna put it in one of my rooms that doesn't have an air purifier and we'll see how well it does there. So whether it's dust, pollen, pet dander, or even those annoying odors, this thing promises to tackle them all. Now this air purifier is rated for rooms up to 1720 square feet. And as you can see, it's got air inlets on every single side of the filter itself. So that 360 degrees around the unit itself, it's able to collect and filter air from all around in any direction. As mentioned before, it's got a four stage filtration system, which includes a pre-filter, which is used to catch dust, lint, fibers, and pet fur. It's also got an H13 True HEPA filter that works to eliminate additional dust, smoke particles, pollen, and pet dander. It's also got a third filter, which is a high efficiency activated carbon filter, which then removes smoke, odors, fumes, and various VOCs from the air. And then it's got a final filter, which is the net filter, which catches any large particles that come from the air that captures pretty much anything else that is missed from the other filters. Now altogether, that should help to eliminate most, if not all airborne particles. The smart air quality sensor itself is an infrared sensor that should be able to provide an accurate reading of the surrounding air quality and give you a pretty accurate reading of how good the air is around you or around the unit itself. The filter, as you saw, is easy to install and should be replaced at least every four to six months, depending on the quality of the air and the amount of work that the unit has to do. Now all parts and components of the unit are made from BPA free materials and because of its size, this thing can be placed pretty much anywhere in any room. Now, one thing I do notice, and because my studio is enclosed, I do notice that the air does smell a little cleaner. Um, and I don't know if that's because of this, but I do smell the difference. It's not a metallic smell or anything like that, which you typically smell from other air purifiers or that I have smelled from other air purifiers. It's a very clean smell. 
that comes out of this air purifier. So that's also something nice based on just how long it's been on on its own already, which hasn't been very long and pretty much the length of this uh, video. Now I would like to test this thing out further and more thoroughly, but I don't have an enclosure that I have set up that I can test both the airflow and the air suction to see how well that works. But I can tell that it does have a lot of air pressure that it pushes out. So I'm hoping that it does work. So what I'm gonna do is over the next couple of days, I'm gonna put it in one of my other rooms that doesn't have an air filter to see how well it works. And then also to see what difference it makes in that room itself. Okay, so this wraps up our unboxing and initial impressions of this air purifier from Diet. Now, from my first impressions, I do like the contemporary design. I do like the amount of features that are built in. I like the simplicity of the installation and the different functions of the unit itself. And I think it works well overall. I can already feel and sense a difference in the overall air quality in this room for just the small amount of time that this thing has been working. But I do wanna go ahead and test this in a more appropriate environment to see how well it works. And once I do that, I'll do a follow-up video just to give my longer term feedback on the unit itself. But so far from a first impression standpoint, this is definitely a must have if you care about the air you breathe and if you have allergies. Now, if you wanna grab one for yourself, I'll leave a link to it in the description section below. Right now, it retails for about $170 on Amazon, but also has an instant $50 coupon that instantly applies when you check out. So if you want one for yourself, make sure you click my link in the description section below. As always, thanks for tuning in, liking, subscribing, and being a part of this awesome new channel. Until next time, stay fresh and keep those lungs happy. See you in the next video.